right. So we're, we're diving deep today into Hollywood comebacks, specifically Army Hammer. Oh, yeah. Remember him? Yeah. What a uh, quite a fall from grace. Right. It really was. We're looking at this article, Hammer's Return, Hollywood's Tarnished Star Straps on Spurs for Frontier Crucible. And it's a wild ride, let me tell you. Yeah, it's interesting because it's not even just about one actor's career, this whole story. Right. It really brings up that question we see again and again in Hollywood. Can a star hmm. actually bounce back after scandal? That's the big question, right? Yeah. I mean, think about it. Hammer was huge EE after Call Me By Your Name. Oh, yeah. He was everywhere. Everyone was talking about him. And then, bam. Yeah. Leaked messages, accusations of abuse, and basically his career implodes. It's um, it's important to remember, though, that while the accusations were really serious. Oh, absolutely. The L.A. County District Attorney never actually pressed charges because yeah. they didn't have enough evidence. They didn't have enough evidence. But public perception is a whole other beast. Uh, yeah. You know, publicist dropped him. He retreats to the Cayman Islands. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine going from red carpets to oh my God. trying to sell timeshares? What a what a change. Talk about a shift, right? It's crazy. It really highlights the power of public opinion, especially in the digital age. Right. Like, we've seen how cancel culture can really tear celebrities down, but can it work the other way around? Right. Can you build someone back up? Yeah. Can someone crawl their way back to the top? That is the question, isn't it? And he's not laying low either. No, he's not. He's back in L.A. What? He's active on social media. He even started a podcast. Oh, really? Called the Army Hammer Time Podcast. Okay. And the tagline is, don't worry. We feed him before every episode. Wow. So that's either like genius or a total Maybe misfire. It. Right. Oh. Is he leaning into the controversy with like dark humor or is it just in poor taste? Yeah. It's hard to say, but you got to admit it gets people talking. It certainly does, which let's be real is probably the point, right? This is all about rehabilitating his image. You know, it's a playbook we've seen before. Yeah. Carefully crafted interviews. Maybe some charity work sprinkled in. Right. And it's all designed to kind of shift public opinion. So that's the strategy, but does it actually work? Right. Have we seen other actors pull this off? Well, I mean, definitely we have. Think about Robert Downey Jr. Oh, you know, After his struggles with addiction and legal issues, yeah. he managed to come back stronger than ever. He did. But then you have cases like Mel Gibson where yeah. the controversies just seem to linger no matter what. So there's no guarantee, no magic formula. Exactly. It's yeah. this messy mix of public perception and individual choices right. and the industry itself. And in this case, he's chosen to dive headfirst back into acting with this film, yeah. Frontier Crucible. A Western, huh, seems kind of random. It does. But when you think about it, okay. Westerns are often about, you know, redemption second chances, the battle between good and evil. Oh, wow. It's almost too perfect. I didn't even think of that. A backdrop for That's his very symbolic. whole situation. Yeah, this is more layered than I even realized at first. It is, and it all kind of hinges on this movie. You know, if Frontier Crucible is a hit, right. and Hammer's performance is captivating, yeah. It could be the turning point he needs. But if it flops, then this comeback might just be... Dead in the water. Yeah, dead in the water. It's a huge gamble. All right, so we've got Hammer trying to control the narrative, this Western that could make or break him. Yeah. And the whole question of will the public even accept him again? And don't forget the producer, Dallas Sonnier. Oh, right. Yeah. He's known for these gritty, intense movies like dragged across concrete. Yeah. So casting Hammer in this kind of film. That's a choice. It's a statement. Yeah, it's like he's saying, look, this is the real army hammer. Yeah, or maybe he's just trying to make a really good movie. Right. But either way, it's one of those situations where what's happening behind the scenes yeah. is almost as interesting as the film itself. Okay, so Frontier Crucible, tell me more about this movie. Well, from what I've gathered, it seems like a pretty intense thriller. Okay. I've seen it compared to like Reservoir Dogs meets Bone Tomahawk. Oh, wow. Set on the Arizona frontier. It's about this soldier and a group of misfits battling not only external threats, but also their own personal demons. Oh, battling demons. That seems pretty symbolic given right. everything he's going through. Uh, yeah, hard not to draw parallels there. Yeah. And the cast is great, too. Thomas Jane from The Punisher, Miles Clohesse, Zane Holt. I mean, they, they got some talent in this movie. So we've got Hammer... Surrounded by a solid cast mm -hmm. in a genre that's practically built for comebacks. Yeah, the pieces are all there, but whether or not it all comes together, right. that's the million-dollar question. Will audiences be able to separate the man 
yeah. from the accusations. And will this film even be good enough to make them even want to try? Mm. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to watch this unfold. This whole thing makes you think about cancel culture and how it all plays out in Hollywood. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's like a, a double-edged sword. Mm -hmm. On the one hand, it can hold powerful people accountable for their actions, mm. which is super important. Absolutely. But then on the other hand, it can feel like everyone's rushing to judgment and people are condemned yeah. without a fair hearing. You know? Right. And like in Hammer's case, even though he wasn't charged, right. the allegations alone were enough to just derail his career. Yeah. It makes you wonder if there's a path to redemption. Is it even possible to separate? Right. The art from the artist. That's the age old debate, right? It is. Some people can do it. Others just can't. Right. I think it depends on the individual and the situation. And in Hollywood, it's not even just public opinion. It's the industry itself. Right. Will studios, directors, other actors even work with? Exactly. Someone who's been caught up in a scandal like that? Yeah. That's a huge factor. There's definitely a risk. Yeah. In casting someone like Hammer. You know, it could alienate audiences, cre create negative press. For sure. For the project. It makes Dallas Sonier's decision to cast him even more interesting. This guy, Sonier, he's not afraid to take risks. No, he's not. He's got a reputation for making these bold choices. Yeah. And this is definitely one of them. I mean, maybe he's incredibly confident in Hammer's talent. Right. Or maybe he sees this as an opportunity to make a statement. Maybe both. Maybe both. Yeah. It's like he's throwing down a gauntlet. You know, challenging the industry, the audience, to reevaluate Hammer. Yeah, it's a power move for sure, and it puts a lot of pressure. Oh yeah, big time on Hammer to deliver a performance worthy of this second chance. So, speaking of performance, mm -hmm. what can we expect from Frontier Crucible? Right. We know it's a western, but what's the vibe? Well, from what's been released so far, it seems like they're going for a grittier, more yeah. violent. Okay. Side of the genre, less John Wayne, more Clint Eastwood in Unforgiven. Ooh, I love that movie. Yeah. So are we talking revenge story outlaws? What's the plot about? Well, the article mentions a soldier and a group of misfits battling against this hostile environment and their own inner demons. Inner demons, huh? Yeah. There's that symbolism again. It's like they're really blurring the lines between... It's hard not to. Right. Yeah. His on-screen character and his real life right situation it's clever actually it gives the audience a way to kind of project their own feelings about hammer onto the character oh interesting you know are we watching a man struggling with his past seeking redemption it adds another layer to the whole story so it's not just action and thrills there's no, like yeah. real emotional depth it seems so and that's where hammer's talent as an actor will really be tested yeah, sure can he pull off this complex layered performance and will it be enough to convince audiences to give him another shot i guess we'll have to see but i have a feeling this film is going to spark a lot of conversation oh absolutely people are going to have opinions and they're going to share them yeah this is a story that's going to play out both on screen and in our wider culture and this brings us back to that central question can a tarnished star shine again yeah back to that right we've seen it before but it's never guaranteed it's never a guarantee. Especially with all the baggage that comes with Hammer's name. It's an uphill battle, that's for sure. It is. But you know what they say in Hollywood. What's that? Any publicity is good publicity. True. But will it translate into actual success? That's the million dollar question, right? Right. We know Hammer's putting in the effort. He's got this potentially powerful film coming out. Right. And he's not shying away from the controversy. I still can't get over that podcast title. I know, me neither. It's bold. It's risky. It is. And it's definitely getting people talking, whether that translates into, you know, positive attention. Right. Well, that's the gamble he's taking. This is why I love these deep dives. Yeah. You know, we're not just looking at the surface. Yeah. We're getting into like the nitty gritty of how Hollywood works. It's about understanding the motivations, the strategies. Right. The power dynamics that really shape careers and reputations. And in this case, it's all playing out in real time. It is. We're watching this comeback attempt unfold before our very eyes. It's like a high stakes drama. Yeah. And we're all invested in the outcome. Will Hammer rise from the ashes? Will Frontier Crucible be his redemption? Or will he become another cautionary tale? Only time will tell. Okay, so we've talked about his strategies, his big movie, the whole cancel culture thing, but where does that leave us? What are we like actually thinking about here? I think it really boils down to this 
does Hammer deserve a second chance? Yeah. And even if he does, will the public actually give him one? Because at the end of the day, it's the audience that decides. Yeah. If a comeback is a success or not. Exactly. Critics might love Frontier Crucible. The industry might welcome him back. But if audiences just aren't interested. Right. That's it. Game over. Yeah. It's, it's like we said, public perception is everything. And these days with social media. Yeah. That perception can change so fast. It's like this constant feedback loop, right? Mm -hmm. People are forming opinions based on news articles, social media posts, trailer reactions. Right. All before the movie even comes out. It's like all this noise, all this online chatter, and it's so loud, it's hard to cut through it and just focus on the work. Right. Which brings us to another interesting part of this whole thing, the producer's role. Right. Dallasonia clearly believes in Hammer enough to cast him. Yeah in this project. And it's not just any project. It's a film that seems like it's made for a comeback story. Almost like it's tailor-made, right? Right. The Western genre, with its themes of redemption, second chances, rough justice. It feels very deliberate. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like Sonia saying, hey, Hollywood, yeah. look past the scandal, look at the talent. Yeah. It's a bold move. It is, and it could pay off big time. For sure. But it's still a gamble. Oh, totally. You know, if the film flops, it could take Hammer down with it. So much is riding on this one movie. It's crazy. Yeah. Speaking of crazy, let's go back to that podcast for a second. Oh, yeah. The Army Hammer Time podcast. I'm yeah. still like, what is that title? It's provocative. There's no doubt about that. Is it like self-aware humor? Is it a desperate attempt to just stay relevant? Right. Or maybe a genuine effort to connect with the audience in a different way? It could be all of those things. Right. But you know what it shows? He's not running from the controversy. No. He's addressing it head on. Which, to be fair, could be seen as a sign of growth self-awareness. Yeah. Maybe this whole thing has forced him to confront some hard truths about himself. It makes you think, what happens when the spotlight turns on you like that? How do you pick yourself up after a fall like that? These are the questions that make this whole story so interesting. It's not just about Hollywood gossip. No. It's about human nature. You know, it's about yeah. resilience, redemption, the crazy way public opinion works. We've covered a lot of ground here. We have. From accusations and career downfall to comebacks and gritty westerns, this has been quite a deep dive. It has. And as we wrap up, I keep thinking, will we as a society ever really figure out how to handle these kinds of situations? It's tough, uh -huh. right? How do we hold people accountable but also allow for growth and second chances? Yeah, there's no easy answer, but I think the important thing is to stay engaged, keep asking questions, challenge our own assumptions, and be open to the possibility of change. Well said. And on that note, dear listeners, we leave you with this. Yeah. What are your thoughts on Army Hammer's comeback? Can he actually make it back in Hollywood? What do you think will determine his fate? We encourage you to keep exploring these questions have those discussions and come to your own conclusions because at the end of the day, it's these conversations, these individual reflections that shape the world we live in. Until next time, keep diving deep, keep those minds sharp and keep the conversation going.